So you want to get Invisalign, you're thinking about it, or you just decided to get it and you need to know what the hell to do, this video is for you. I just finished my Invisalign treatment, so I wanted to give you guys information on things that I wish I knew when starting the treatment that would have made my life so much easier, how much my treatment was, if I thought it was worth it or not, things that you should purchase when starting Invisalign, etc. So let's hop in because there's going to be so much information that I literally took like four pages of notes. I got it for two reasons. One, because I had a crooked tooth that really bothered me, so it was like 50% cosmetic, but then also 50% recommended by my dentist. My teeth were so misaligned that they were rubbing against each other and I was kind of corroding the enamel, I guess it's called, on my teeth. So by straightening them, I would stop that rubbing, that friction, and they would actually align properly. It took me one year to complete, so 12 months of treatment. If you haven't yet gotten Invisalign, the first thing that I think you should know is that there is a difference between your dentist and your orthodontist. So my dentist doesn't specialize in Invisalign. So I was asking around, asking for referrals, and I ended up finding an orthodontist near me that was the most affordable and actually was an award-winning orthodontist um, in my area so first and foremost find your orthodontist then you're gonna do a consultation so for me I personally thought that the consultation was just a consultation it's free um, and I actually ended up getting Invisalign that day so uh, keep that in mind if it's something that you're really considering go into your consultation almost expecting to get Invisalign that day because it really is beneficial especially since during your consultation they're gonna take images of your teeth to see how long your treatment is gonna take and they're gonna scan your teeth so it's really a lot easier if they just make the mold right after that so that your teeth don't shift and they don't have to do it again just in case your teeth are different if you wait after your consultation so honestly highly recommend going in for the consultation um, already knowing kind of about range of pricing for the place that you're going to and just like go all in you know like commit that every single person has a different mouth has different teeth and they're gonna need different treatment which means it's gonna take different lengths of time and it's gonna cost different prices so I can tell you personally for me I paid around 3k and it took me one year just 12 months of switching out my Invisalign trays every two weeks. So that's just what my story was. My sister's treatment was, was about like 4K and it took her about three years. So every person's gonna be different. So just know that, like if I tell you uh, my treatment was 3K and it took me a year, that doesn't mean the same for you. You could have totally different teeth. Another tip that my dentist gave me that was really helpful is that treatment usually less than eight months is around three thousand eight hundred dollars and 15 month plus treatment is usually around 5k and it depends on how difficult the treatment's going to be as i said it's something that you have to talk to your specific orthodontist about so about my actual treatment what happened after i got my consultation once i got my teeth scanned what is the process basically they scanned my teeth waited about two weeks to get the trays in but once i went in for that first appointment i got buttons on my teeth so people always hear me talking about buttons it's like what the heck are buttons they're actually little tiny dots of bonding material that go onto your teeth and help the invisalign click in so that they don't come out or like you know move around in your mouth don't pick at your buttons do not pick on them just leave them alone don't touch them because if you do pick on them they're gonna have to put them on again next time they see you and that's just not worth it just don't touch them let me know that they would try their best to make sure that they put the buttons as far back in my mouth as possible so that it wouldn't show and it wouldn't be as noticeable it was really unfortunate that i had a crooked tooth right in the front because they had to put two buttons on my front tooth and it was horrible to me it was literally the end of the world it was the worst possible thing it was it felt so noticeable in pictures and i'm not going to sugarcoat any of that because in hindsight i'm so glad i did it and it paid off but yes like in that moment i just want you to like be mentally prepared to kind of be annoyed at the situation a little bit and feel like it's not the most convenient thing that you 
could experience, if that makes sense. I empathize with you and like, I felt those same feelings of, wow, now I have this in my teeth and it's so noticeable and people are gonna see it and I don't wanna smile and all these things. And honestly, like you're gonna get so used to it and everyone around you is gonna get so used to it. It's going to go away. Like people aren't gonna notice, people aren't gonna care. If anything, the people who are gonna notice are the ones who are curious about treatment and also wanna do it themselves. So don't feel like embarrassed or ashamed or um, any of those things. It's gonna go away with time and everyone that you interact with, like maybe they'll notice because they see you every day and they notice that something's different about you, but it's really nothing to like shy away from. And honestly, like it's so worth it in the end that I would do it again, of course. Like I would do it 10 times over just because that part is so temporary and it doesn't matter. And it's just that much more rewarding when you get to see your final smile. So hang in there if you just got it and you're feeling like, oh, I don't like this, like I wish I hadn't done it. Trust me, you're gonna be so grateful that you did it. I promise you. Something that makes it really noticeable is if your teeth are dirty and your Invisalign is dirty, your plastic is dirty, your buttons are dirty. So I wanna give you information on how you can keep it clean clean as best you can. Here are five tips for keeping your teeth as white and as clean as possible. Number one, don't eat with your Invisalign on. Like don't do it, just don't do it. Do not eat with them on. Even if they tell you that you can because they told me that I could and I highly regret every single time that I've done that because three things. One, literally the day I got home, I was so hungry and I had my buttons in, I had a new tray in and they said I could eat with it in and it was very painful for me to take it out just because like it was really locked in there. It was very tight because my teeth weren't used to it. And I decided to eat with them in. I ate a burrito, like a steak burrito or something, which is absurd. Like why did I, why did I do that? <laughs> but I ate a steak burrito and my Invisalign were yellow. Like they were a little stained like from the beginning, that first try for the first two weeks. And yeah, it's just gross. Any heat will melt the trays. So you can't drink hot coffee with them in, eating hot foods, anything, it's going to melt the trays and morph the plastic. So you don't want to do that whatsoever. The third reason why you should not do this is because hard foods are gonna cut the plastic. So I thought it was a great idea to eat popcorn with them in one day. It just started like peeling away at the plastic because it was too rough of a food. And for the next two weeks, I had to deal with the fact that like that part felt rough and like I kept running my tongue over it and just feeling like something was there. So. I just don't think you should eat with them on, personally. It also helps keep them as white as possible if you don't put like foods in there that are different colors. That's my recommendation to you. Take them out every time you're gonna eat. The second tip that I have for you is to keep them in for the duration that they tell you every day. So if they tell you 20 to 22 hours a day is how long you keep your trays in, like you get two hours fully to have your trays out for whatever meals you wanna eat, follow that to a T. Like try your hardest to eat your meal and brush right after because the longer you wait to put them in the more painful they're going to be when you put them in because your teeth will shift very quickly and even if you don't realize it let's say you didn't do such a hot job of keeping them in for 22 hours a day with your tray and when you did put them in it wasn't noticeable that they had moved but as a whole for the two week span you didn't really have them in as many hours as you should have, when you go to put in that new tray in two weeks, it's going to be painful. And like, it doesn't need to be painful, especially if you follow the instructions that they gave you. So yeah, it will be a little painful, but there's nothing that two Advils or Tylenols or whatever won't make it go away. Or at least that was my experience. And I know people have had different experiences, but I found that normally when I didn't keep them in as much as I should have for the two week span, it really caught up to me in the next tray and I regretted it that week. So so keep them in, they tell you that for a reason. The third tip that I have for you to keep them the least noticeable is to floss two times a day, or if you have to, three times a day, whenever you have stuff in your teeth, before you put them in, floss, because it's really gross to have food in your teeth and then to put plastic over it to kind of suffocate it in there. And it's also not good for cavities. Um, and just like staining your teeth and having like plaque in your teeth. So try your best to carry floss with you. I'm gonna tell you what I carry with me and what I purchased at the beginning to make it easier for me in this process. So stay tuned for that. Whatever flossing 
mechanism is most convenient for you it doesn't matter as long as you're flossing so if you like like good old-fashioned like floss like on a roll type of thing go for that I love the daily picks um, I know they're a little pricier I guess overall but it made me more likely to floss because it was quick and easy and I could just like do it and toss it out and another thing that I recommend is if you're considering a tool the water pick is really great the fourth tip that I have for you is to brush after every meal and snack even if you don't feel like brushing like if you don't feel like brushing your teeth after having something, don't eat it. You take your Invisalign out and then you don't feel like brushing and then you leave your Invisalign out, then you're just gonna have it out for too long. So um, make sure you're brushing your teeth and brushing the Invisalign to keep it as white as possible. The fifth tip that I have for you is to purchase Crest White Strips or whatever whitening you like. I know Rembrandt is a good brand. I don't know if they're still making uh, kits or not, but highly recommend whitening your teeth every once in a while. It doesn't have to be very frequent, but it'll make you feel better. When your teeth are whiter, it's not as noticeable to see the plastic. So keep that in mind. So these five tips are gonna keep your teeth as clean as possible and just get you through the treatment as fast as possible and as painless as possible. So I know I'm kind of regurgitating things that your orthodontist probably already told you, but just from someone who went through it, I'm telling you again because I want to stress the importance of these things and how they impact your everyday and your end result. I want to go through what I recommend buying that's going to help get you through your treatment as easily as possible and just things that made my life simpler. Okay, so here are the things that I recommend buying. I had already mentioned the Crest White Strips, so here are those. They're the 30 minute, I believe, and there are 20 strips. 10 treatments inside so highly recommend these and love these the next thing that I want to show you is this little pouch that I purchased I actually got it from Bed Bath & Beyond it's the basics brand so this little pouch is waterproof and I just use this to be able to carry everything that I need with me on the go so I'm going to show you everything that's inside this pouch Another thing I highly recommend is this little kit that I got from Dentec. It's actually a numbing kit. So it comes with little swabs um, that just go into this applicator so you don't have to put your hands in your mouth. You can use this on the go or traveling or whatever and it's really tiny. comes in a little plastic kit. So once you put that swab in the little applicator, you dip it in this numbing gel and it just helps to numb your gums in the case that you didn't have your Invisalign in for long enough and you're just experiencing some pain on like the first couple days of a new tray. So I like having this as a backup. I didn't, as you can see I really didn't experience that much pain I only used five of these so that's great but it really came in handy especially one night in the middle of the night that I experienced pain in my gums and I was really glad that I had this in my cabinet and didn't have to run out or like just sleep in pain I guess um, so this another thing that I don't have with me here is Advil that I highly recommend having on hand in case that uh, you experience any pain um, and it's not extremely painful guys I just want you guys to be prepared in the case that you do happen to experience pain. Another thing is sugar-free cough drops. So if you happen to get sick, the sugar-free allows you to have these while you have the Invisalign in so you don't have to brush after uh, using a cough drop. If you happen to get cough drops that aren't sugar-free, I would recommend taking your Invisalign out to have a cough drop in your mouth and then brushing afterwards just because keeping that sugar there and having it on your teeth for long periods of time could cause cavities. So that's what we're trying to prevent with the sugar-free ones. I also recommend getting a big container of mouthwash just because once I show you the little mouthwash thing that I have in here, it'll just save you energy if you just refill that tiny mouthwash container. Okay, so this is everything that I fit inside this little waterproof pouch. And basically, this is the Invisalign just container that uh, comes with the Invisalign. And this is my current tray. I'm waiting for my overnight permanent retainer to come in. So I just have that in there and it fits in my little bag. Another thing is a travel toothbrush. So I just have this one that bends and it's really easy to take with me. And I can use this to brush my teeth and my Invisalign. Another thing is toothpaste, just like a mini, um, any type of floss, and 
and this is just the little mouthwash that I bought and I just refill it with the big mouthwash just to make my life easier and yeah I fit all this stuff in here and I can put it on the sink like if I'm going to a restaurant or if it's in like a tiny wristlet I just make sure that I carry all of these products with me and I can just grab it go and I know that I have everything that I will need in order to be able to brush my teeth to eat a snack or whatever the case is on the go I highly recommend picking these products up and honestly like I purchase multiples of these at a time just because you're gonna need to replenish this especially since it's so many also wanted to show you guys this so this is what I use to clean the Invisalign just regular soft soap and I'll just refill from this big tub and I use this to wash my hands as well so it's super convenient now that I showed you all that another thing I wanted to talk about they recommend denture cleaner to soak them in I didn't purchase that throughout the entire treatment but I did use warm water baking soda and apple cider vinegar a mixture of that and just pop the Invisalign in for about 30 minutes or 20 minutes and it really really helped so if you're in a pinch or you don't want to buy the denture cleaner then that's a really great way to keep them clean I think that's pretty much everything I hope this was very helpful for you and answered a lot of questions or concerns that you might have about Invisalign treatment or pain or duration or uh, price or anything like that but if you do have any more questions please comment down below and I will do my best to answer them for you. I just want to say overall that I am so happy about my treatment and how my teeth came out and I'm really happy that I did this now. If you're thinking about doing this, I highly recommend doing it. It was rewarding is the right word for it. I want to see you do it. I want to see it. I want to see it. If you have before and after pictures, send them to me on Instagram. You can follow me. My handle is at Monica G. Bolness. And if you're not following me already, I post a lot of health, mental health, wellness, physical health on my Instagram. So give me a follow. And if you enjoyed this video, uh, smash that like button and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.